Hey everybody, welcome back to another Success Spotlight with Mailbox Power. My name is Wendy McGee and I am the Director of Client Relations here at Mailbox Power. And I am really excited today to have the opportunity to interview Mark Schuster. He is the Director of Operations and Maintenance Programs at a company called Delta Solutions. So hi, Mark. How are you doing today? Hey, Wendy. I'm great. Happy to be here. Hey, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and spending a little bit of it with us so you can share how you guys use Mailbox Power at your company. So tell me a little bit about you, Mark, and what you do, and maybe a little bit about what you do at Delta Solutions, what the company is about, kind of give everybody a little bit of background. Sure. Delta Solutions and Strategies, founded in January of 2000, we're headquartered in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, I'm the Director of Operations and Maintenance Programs, which means I have 17 individual U.S. government contracts dealing with operational support and maintenance issues across uh, the globe. We primarily support in, uh, in issues like that. We also do modeling and simulation and administrative and assistance services. And we're primarily in direct support of U.S. Uh, Space Force and Space Command. We have approximately 300 employees around the world. Uh, and I've been with the company since January of 2017. And my job is also to manage the mailbox program for our company. Awesome. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know much about your company until just a few minutes ago. So this is really exciting. And it's so fun to see all of the different ways that people are using Mailbox Power to connect outside of their company. But with you, it's more inside of your company. So maybe tell everyone a little bit about how you are using Mailbox Power. And um, you were explaining to me a little bit before we started, but you know, connecting within your company. Yeah, absolutely. So we're a privately owned company. The CEO and president of the company, Mr. Stafford, owns a company. And uh, when I first started here at Delta Solutions and Strategies, we had about 70 employees and corporate headquarters had a, a birthday card program and uh, HR team would kind of manage that. And every month we'd get a, a bunch of cards and show up on my desk and we'd sign them and send them <laughs> out. Uh, but in the last uh, four years, we've been able to win almost 50 individual contracts, some of our largest contracts in our history, and we've ballooned up to over 300 employees. And that's very difficult to manage that because as you have more employees, you have more turnover. And so uh, I was speaking with uh, a good friend of mine, Annette Bredet, uh, who is a mailbox associate, and I knew about the program, but never connected how it worked for a company like ours. We don't market or sell services or products. We provide services to the government. So I was trying to think of how this program could help us strictly send out regular birthday cards to all of our employees, because it's a wonderful way to let people know you care about them. Yes. And so Nanette came in and gave me a presentation on how it would work with our company in the government contracting world. And once I presented that to the CFO and COO and the boss, everybody was on board. And so <laughs> late last year in December, we started the program. What we have found is that the program also provides other fun touch points for a company like ours. For example, about a week prior to the recent clock change for daylight savings time, we sent out a postcard that basically said, um, you know, set your clocks. Uh, what do you have to put our clocks Let's forward? See, spring forward. Spring yes. Forward. Right. Exactly. But it was really nice. We we just kind of made up a, a little fun thing that said basically said, hey, we appreciate the time you put into the team and don't forget to set your clocks forward. So now we have that set up in the fall. And then uh, what we found is we started receiving messages. I'm not the only director in the company. We have five other directors and we started receiving positive messages from our employees saying, I got a birthday card and a $25 gift card to Amazon in it. Mm -hmm. oh, thank yeah. you so much. And Oh, thanks for reminding us. I've never had anybody tell me to set my clocks forward from my employer. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. And so what we found was not only, can we control the messaging? We can design the cards and the postcards, but we're able to add gifts. And so we always used to send out an Amazon gift card. And when we found out that we could do that, initially, my boss was like, well, I guess you're going to be sticking $25 gift cards in 300 <laughs> cards every month. Throughout the year. No, yes. It's automated. So the fact that it's completely automated and that your corporate office does all the work for us, it really became a simple decision. So if there's a company out there or somebody watching this saying, is it worth it? We think it's very well worth it because it doesn't take a lot or I'm sorry, put it this way. It takes a little to make a huge impact in your employees' lives. 
just little things make a difference. So that's kind of our story. Oh, I love that, Mark. And I love that you took the time to go, okay, how could we like actually have a touch point with our employees throughout the year? Like, yeah. you know, like you said, you would have been having to stuff those envelopes and put those Amazon cards in yourself. But mm -hmm. I agree. Um, receiving something on your birthday is amazing. That is something that's probably something that we suggest every single company be doing, you know, to, for all their customers, as well as within their company, like you guys have done. But then throughout the year, other things that are unexpected, you know, um, recognition for an employee that's doing well, or maybe reaching out to somebody that, you know, maybe has had a, a hardship or something in their life. Like you can really do anything with mailbox power. And like you said, it just takes a little effort, but then it makes a big impact and people feel like, okay, you know, you guys actually care and you're paying attention to us and, you know, employees love recognition, right? What's re or recognized will be you know, continued and, and they love to feel a part of something. And I feel like Mailbox Power makes it so simple. You mentioned how it can be automated. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Because this has been perfect, I think, to share with companies that are thinking, oh, we have a big, you know, we have a lot of employees. Or even if you don't, maybe you have a small company, but we'd really love to be on top of that and have that system in place so we are taking care of birthdays and special occasions and communication in a little bit different way. Yes. So the other thing, um, we also sent out a holiday card. So we initially started with the holiday season. We got all of our holiday cards out in December and that had a $50 gift card in there. I think is what it was. Awesome. Um, but there's another unique, another unique area that when I talk to the staff, so one of the more challenging things for a company like ours or any other company out there is the open enrollment season. We know that every year, employees yeah. that are using yeah. benefits plan like health and dental and medical, they have an open enrollment period. And those periods can be very difficult on the headquarters staff. So one of the things we're going to do this year is open enrollment will probably be in December and compliance is very hard. People are busy. And so what we're probably going to do is three months ahead of open enrollment, we're going to send out postcards to all of our employees giving them the heads up that we're heading into the open enrollment season and they should start talking mm -hmm. with their families and their spouses and making decisions can be hard. And then two months out, we'll send another postcard out with some other information. A month out, we'll send a postcard. And then the month of open enrollment, we can send another one. And what we're excited about is the employee may be focusing on open enrollment, but doesn't have the time or doesn't think about maybe speaking with their loved ones or maybe a spouse and so the idea is that, like, you know, Wendy, you may get home and if you happen to have someone in your life, maybe a spouse, and you don't think about it, but then you see a postcard that pops up about open enrollment, mm -hmm. it's another opportunity to encourage them as a family to talk about something that's very important. And so we think that that's going to increase our compliance and reduce the stress on a company with three or 400 employees. So if you're watching this and you're a company out there trying to think about what to do with 10 employees or 10,000 employees, um, hey, postcards are unlimited. So you just got to play posted. So if you have 10,000 employees, Wendy's staff will send out 10,000 postcards every single month if you want. We it's unlimited will. based on the plan that you set up with. Uh, so it's a great, great opportunity. We're excited about the rest of this year to see what other touch points we can create. And more importantly, the staff... Uh, at Mailbox Plus. Unbelievable immediate responses. The changes that you guys have brought to the technology, the fact that I can call in the net or I can get online and I can do a chat right away. They're receptive to issues. For example, you just recently launched the new software, the new platform. Yes. Yeah. And yep. unfortunately, there's a, you know, when you set up your contacts, there's a birthday and there's an anniversary date. And they both said birthday. So I immediately got online and sent a chat to your staff. Awesome. And they were like, oh, thanks for letting us know. And the next day it was fixed. <laughs> so the customer service is a really important piece of this because you do invest money. You do invest time as a company. And I want people to know that the customer service is wonderful. And you guys produce a great product. It's really high quality. And you've got some wonderful gifts on there. I'm just waiting for you guys to start adding maybe cars as gifts. Because I think if we pay for it, you'll send it. So that'd be interesting to see you guys deliver cars around the country. Um, yeah, <laughs> That's right. If you want to stock that inventory, Mark, we'll absolutely yep. make sure it gets delivered. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to sell some Teslas. Yes, we have a few Teslas. That's right. Mm -hmm. We'll even, the charging stations and everything, you can send it yep. all out. Why not? <laughs> 
Hey, thank you so much for all of the information that you shared and just like giving your own personal testimonial. I, I totally agree with you. I think that this is just one of those amazing companies that can do something that is very personal, very customized, but can really take kind of the, you know, headache out of making sure that every single person gets something. Or like you said, I loved what you said about reaching out a few months ahead of the you know, open enrollment and helping mm -hmm. people to start thinking about that and free postcards and, and everything. So Mark, is there any last thing that you'd like to share with anyone who's watching this video? Yeah, if, if you're, if you're even thinking about it, at least sit down with somebody so they can show you how the process works because it is relatively is easy. Uh, and for a business like ours, we're not interested in, this is not a profit center for us. This is an employee relations opportunity. And that's what this works well for our company. And we would encourage everybody to at least look into it, right? When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So mm -hmm. give yourself an opportunity to see what Mailbox uh, can provide. And I think you'll be very happy. Oh, thank you, Mark. Like excellent, excellent interview. Great information. Um, any business owner that's watching this, I'm sure has learned something and is thinking, okay, I need to check this out. So yeah. you are watching this. <laughs> You're listening to going, that makes sense. Yes. Just go over to um, mailboxpower.com. You can sign up for an account there. You can chat with us, just like Mark said. Um, if you have an affiliate that has reached out to you, let them give you, you know, a little tour. We also do, um, you can book a demo with us and we can show you all about how Mailbox Power can fit into your business. And like Mark said, can be a client relations tool, can help you with onboarding, can help you with prospecting, can help you just with nurture campaigns, basically loving on your clients, loving on your employees, um, and just connecting in a more personal way. So thank you, Mark. I appreciate your time today and everyone who is watching. Um, thanks so much and have a great rest of your day. You're welcome. Thanks for letting us participate. Have a good day. Hey, thanks, Mark. Bye-bye.